Good morning, folks. Today we've got significant solar eruptions and a radiation storm hitting Earth. We'll go to a baby planet, lightning forcing, the hotspot hypothesis taking a dive, and we've got more records broken this year by the sun. Let's start with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find it was a calm day in terms of Earth-directed solar flares and CMEs, but there was a fair amount of activity around the limbs and on the far side, including a huge shockwave ripple that's seen off the right side here. It's our top solar story today, actually. A major likely X-class solar flare erupted from the far side of the sun, just over the limb to the right as we look at it. It produced a major CME that is not aimed at Earth, but which did produce serious static snow of high-energy protons on Soho. This was the classical proton storm event. CME not aimed at Earth, but it hit the curving interplanetary magnetic field lines and allowed the proton radiation to surge to our planet. We climbed up to level 2 storm conditions overnight. Hopefully, there's no more coming from this one as it begins to fade this morning. Up first in the science articles, they're spotting a baby planet and plan to take a closer look. It's got 10 times the radius of Earth, 30% the mass of Jupiter, and it orbits closely to its super young star, making a year's loop in less than two weeks. They're getting much better at spotting these. Up next, veteran observers may remember my live stream commentary on how what they call mantle hotspots are likely just holes in the bottom of the crust, the lithosphere. Here, they're taking that idea and actually publishing it in the science journals. I reiterate, a hot spot in a liquid rock ocean makes no sense. Holes in the bottom of the crust make a lot of sense. Folks, in our textbook, we have dozens of papers analyzed discussing the sun's impact on the North Atlantic Oscillation. Also have a lot on solar forcing of lightning patterns. So, when we see this paper describing the connection between the North Atlantic Oscillation and lightning, we really shouldn't be surprised. Nor should we forget that it means that everything impacting the oscillation, including the sun, impacts the down-the-line impacts, including lightning, and much more. Lastly today, folks, looks like there was yet another record Earth effect seen during the May solar superstorm. The thermosphere effects were the strongest ever recorded, even bigger than the October 2003 Halloween solar storms. The problem is that the solar activity during those storms in 2003 was 10 to 30 times stronger. The geomagnetic storm affected Earth was stronger. So why did this weaker event break auroral, particle penetration, and now as we see here, thermosphere effect records? Because we're in the magnetic pole shift and our planet grows more vulnerable to the sun by the day. Folks, my next day out at the ranch is Sunday, midday, the 24th. We've got big events coming up at the ranch in weeks and months ahead. Pick a day, pick a week, come out and spend some time with the observers. ObserverRanch.com We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.